Hello, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I am out on a walk today, so you might hear a car or two drive by. Which just reminds us that we're on the move. Energy is always flowing. There's always opportunity for movement, for change, for shift. So today's topic is contact. Contact. I have been listening to some podcasts and things and as I've been walking and it occurs to me that one of the things that we most deeply desire as people, as human beings, is contact. Now, besides the fact that we've been collectively experiencing a pandemic and the memory of that, while we might want to put it in the rearview mirror, for some it's right in your face right here right now, and there's this shadow piece of it that feels like it's lurking just a bit for some and for others it's completely encompassing and with that contact becomes something that we not only took for granted previously but something that we realize that we have as a shared core desire, contact. Even if someone cannot identify that and they consider themselves a loner or they like to be by themselves and spend time, as some introverts do, gaining energy from alone time. The fact is contact is a core human desire Some psychologists, I'm sure, could argue that it's a core human need, contact, especially from early childhood development and psychology and understanding the development of people, our brains, our relationships, all of it, and the difference that contact makes with a person that is growing and developing, how they understand the world and receive the world or perceive the world. Is it a threatening, scary place? Or is it encouraging, supportive, and loving? All of these, all of these things are learned from contact. So as you are listening today, I want you to think about this principle of contact. I have to have to giggle a bit, okay? So you know that I do psychic work and that I speak many <laughs> psychic languages and I've worked with clients that have all sorts of interesting psychic connections. That includes star energy or star guide energy or star seed energy. And if you don't know what it is, Google it, look it up. <laughs> and because of that, when I hear the word contact, I feel like... <laughs> We made contact, like with something completely new, innovative, different civilization, different ways of living, different technologies and innovations. I think of that. I think of something so alien, so foreign, and yet it feels like a movie. I mean, the whole idea of contact seems like something so uh, epic. (laughs) And I guess that it is depending upon how you relate to the word contact. Is it about relationships with you and just um, as simple as communications, like picking up a phone and talking to someone, sending them an email, or is contact something that is connected to a request? Like if in your work, if you're in sales, for example, I made 17 contacts today because the contact is the initial request And then there's follow-up and all this, but contact, a first encounter, or is contact just a following up for you? Is it something that is a routine? Does it become part of a relationship, whether it be in business or with family, just to keep in contact? Does it mean connection for you? So communication and connection, we have two other things that are coming into play here. 
what does connection mean then? Is connection simply a opening that is always available so that when you choose to tap into that flow for connection, you can get there and make contact quickly without much effort because you've already made the initial contacts. You've already done, had multiple visits or contacts so that there is some kind of a established relationship. Is that what connection is? And is contact that point, that portal of opening? Or is it a button that you push when you need service or assistance, when you need to make a request? It's interesting, isn't it? See all the variables and variations of contact. Yet we have established here, assuming that you just believe what I say, (laughs) that contact as a fact is a core shared desire. I'm not identifying it as a need. I am saying it's a desire because my work with you is energetic. It is tapping into our resources that we don't see and we cannot explain easily, but that we feel, we sense, and we know that's what intuition is, the energy, the unexplainable, the seemingly miraculous, the serendipitous moments, the synchronicities. The messages, the symbols, the metaphors, all of this. And contact is a part of it, a core part. It's an extension through which our relationships are not only created, they're born into different channels or funnels. They're identified, they're they're cultivated, they either grow or they don't. This web of relationships is the purpose for your living. I know it's also the bane of your existence, isn't it? Relationships, managing all the relationships with you, your spouse, your significant others, your kids, your work, your coworkers, your bosses, your clients, your customers, the vendors, the people in your community groups, at the school, In the classrooms, in the nonprofit organizations that you're volunteering for. This is a complex web of connection filled up with contact points. Those contact points light up on this web when I look at it energetically like a sacred geometry, a huge spider web, a galactic spider web. Let's keep on in touch with that contact. We made contact. You've made contact with the web of connection. And each of those strands of that web represent your relationships. And that is why you became a person for the relationships, for the communication and connection that funnels and channels through that you experience with and because of relationship. You don't have a choice to just stay away from all relationships because there are some that you have to have such as interaction or transactional ones when you're purchasing food or managing life, you know, filling out forms and whether you're doing it online or in person is no matter. The point is you are managing the relationships, whether it be with a real person or a one-time person at the customer service counter at the DMV which stands for Department of Motor Vehicles, for those of you who are outside of the U.S. (laughs) So, this web that makes up relationships, you can't escape the relationships. Clearly, we have discovered this. If you haven't already known this, that is the point and the purpose of your being, your living. And through the relationships, you understand, you learn, and you grow The goal isn't to be an influence on others. Truly, the goal is to be totally and completely integrated in alignment with yourself so that then when you have interactions with others, it is light amplifying light. It is positive energy and vibrations amplifying positive energy and vibrations, amplifying core goals of health, of wellness, of feeling good, positive attitudes. 
inspired living, not just routine, day-to-day, hamster wheel style living. That's over. Don't try to go back to that. We are creating new patterns, new connections. We are making contact. (laughs) What are you coming into contact with? By choice and intention, not by default. Engage your ability through intention, through your intuition, through your insight. Even in the encounters you have that you have to do that are the, the normal sort of routine encounters and your normal routine contacts, make them inspiring. Make them enjoyable. Make them meaningful. Make them moments where you're not wasting your time or just getting through that you are present. Be present. Contact. Interesting topic. I'd encourage you to grab out your journals and go ahead and journal on this topic. What does this word mean to you? Also, subsequent words that were mentioned that support this concept of contact would be communication, connection, and relationships. Mm, relationship. Let's say that. Ship. That's kind of cool. Relate. Ship. Ooh, big ship. I also want to, before I wrap up with you, I want to give you my clairvoyant view of this. So clairvoyance is the psychic gift of sight. You know, I see with the third eye stuff. I do. I know. I know. For some, it's weird, but hey, it's just normal for me. It's just how I was made. And so I'm going to share that with you. The way that I see this is literally through a web, a big, beautiful cosmic spider web. And the word contact and the point is, is, is the little points of light that are at the intersections of the strands of the web as they cross each other, as there are intersection points. The contact is the light at the point of the, of the intersection. That's what I see. And there are millions of them. Contact equals opportunity, possibility. So that's what I see. That's how I see it. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Thanks for joining me on my walk today. I appreciate you. Make sure that you check out the playlist here at Above Life Channel and the podcast, Sunday Morning Coffee that is shared. If you're looking for more inspiring insights and talks from me, you can find that and more other other videos as well on Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube.